You have gone too far, mother. I could say the same to you, child. Leaving me for dead and buried under that mountain. What a way to treat your mother. Next time I will use a bigger mountain. Say what you must, but I saw the hesitation in your eyes. Besides, you won't get another chance. The Darkhold is finally complete. The prophecy draws to its close. The Midnight Sun is coming, and with it, him. We will all have our final parts to play. Will you be ready when the curtain rises? When the time comes, my hand will not hesitate. I pray it does not. You have come a long way, child. Standing before me with such... conviction. Such belief. You look a lot like him, you know. What? Wait, I thought we could not talk about him here. Ugh, oh, God, no, not him. Him. Your father. I have never heard you speak of him until now. We close upon the end of a billion years prophecy. Forgive me if I am a bit... sentimental. I sometimes wonder if I could bring his soul to this place. To have him stand once more beside me. Beside us. I implore you, do not. In his death, he has been spared the sight of the foul creature you have become. I envy him for that. What? No snappy comeback? Promises that we shall be reunited under the glorious eye of the Midnight Sun? No, child. Not this time. Agatha? I'm sorry to intrude, dear. Do you have a moment? For you? Of course. You always came to me for advice when vexed by a difficult problem. Never Sarah. That is called playing one parent against the other. I know. And I always gave advice Sarah would have given. If you hadn't both quarreled over every tiny thing. I thought so. Was she there, but invisible? Did she whisper your advice through lost sorceries of the blood? Of course not. Hunter, we spoke about you constantly. The weight of prophecy should never fall on a child. So we tried to give you room to be your own person. I had no idea. <clears throat> What did you want to discuss? I don't know how to say this without sounding melodramatic, but... Despite our actions, the prophecy unfolds. Cathan's return seems inevitable. Yet all I can do for the people I love is... haunt a library and play macabre tour guide. Agatha... I should be here with Sarah and yourself, helping to bring the team together. But I never have felt more... useless. Oh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I'll leave you to your rest. Agatha, wait. <sighs> Good night. Agatha. Where is she? I heard you speaking with her. I am surprised you can hear, Agatha. Then you don't deny it? Why would I? Especially to you. 
Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why didn't you tell Caretaker? Nobody would have believed me. I would have believed you. Only if you knew me enough to trust me. Clearly, we aren't there yet. That is exactly my point. So what now? Next time I see her, I will tell her. And then hopefully, the three of us will talk. <sighs> All right. I'm trusting you, Hunter. Good night. Green, now. Hydra's fist grows tighter around Transia, and now Lilith's twisted children roam free. A glimpse into all our futures if we fail to stop her. Those people need to evacuate. Are those Hydra soldiers blocking the bridge? Not just soldiers. That's... Hey, Captain Wonderboy! Can you hear me? Crossbones. I know you're hiding out in your little fun house, so listen up. No one's getting out of this country except in a body bag. Or unless you're brave enough to swap places with him. So what do you say? You man enough to face me? <laughs> Any time, Rumlow. Sons, time to shake off the past and train to kick some ass. And we can't rewind the clock and change it. Because Doctor Strange lost all his time travel totems in New York. Oh, so are we just gonna train the pain away? It works in every single boxing movie I have ever seen. Are we so desperate that cinema is our inspiration? We are ants to Cathon. We must fight together or we will fail. Focus! I agree with Blade and the Scarlet Witch. This is why we get our asses kicked out there. We're not Avengers. We're lucky to be alive. It wasn't my intention to insult the idea, Blade. Yes, training together helps us learn how to cover each other's blind spots. Imagine if Blaze decided to stick with us the whole time. We'd be unstoppable. Exactly, Robbie. It makes us stronger. I really don't want to say we are the Midnight Suns or anything like that. It's too cheesy for me. So just consider that general vibe expressed. Take all that big listening to each other energy and pretend we have to launch Spider-Man across a hellscape of demons and...
Crossbones seems very eager to see you. Taking care of crossbones will probably help that a lot. We're dropping right into the heart of Transia. Don't let crossbones turn those poor people into shields. I'm getting angry just thinking about it. Rumlow's got to be... Give them credit. Almost. Fire! This is mercy compared to what's coming next. Sides, I wasn't talking to you! with someone, Rumlow? Dance with me. <laughs> About friggin' time! This place is going to hell in a handbasket, and Crossbone seems intent on taking the locals down with it. You can always count on Captain Boyce down this posse to come running. Anytime they're screaming, nobody's to rescue. I'm not about to stand by and let you kill these people, Rumlow. Good. I was hoping to get you riled up. They do not seem to be a match for us. Just like old times. Someone order a sandwich? They're not going to like this. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. For Hydra! Taking the shot! Lucky shot! Take advantage while they focus on me. We already knew you were a coward, Rumble. What are you trying to prove by hurting these people? I don't need to prove anything to you! I just like watching a bunch of so-called heroes squirm! You will answer for these crimes, one way or another. Shake it in my boots over here! Wow, I'm glad 
glad you're on our side. You're safe. Now get moving. Time to bleed. And I thought man thing was up. They must really want to piss me off. Now you're making me mad. Pathetic. Arm Alpha, reinforcing. It's your time now. <laughs> Times has it been now, Stevie? How many fights over the years? The guy lost count. If I had known it would have come to this, I would have made sure to finish the job last time. Watch my back. Bother running. I'm starting to see how all those stories about you got started. Behold the light's gift. Why don't you come down here and face me yourself, Rumlow? Put up or shut up. You'll get your shot at me soon enough. I'm counting on it. I have cleared one of the innocents.
Hell back. Some for the rest of us. Brace yourselves, people. Company's coming. These Hydra grunts have no idea who they're taking orders from. You're just another mouthpiece for Lilith. Come on! You think you can psych me out like that? Everyone knows me! I'm famous! I had not heard of you. Yeah? Well, nobody knows who you are either! for Hydra. I will not fall again. Right? Target confirmed. Nice armor. Pity if someone punched a hole in it. I freed one of the civilians. Other with that mount? Hope they're ready. <laughs> it's nice of Lilith to keep restocking the practice dump. Got a little surprise. 
surprise for you, Hunter. A blast from the past. For real. I thought that thing died with Faustus. I kept a few around for special occasions. Crazy old bastard be smiling in his grave right now. If I left you something to bury. You'd blow us all apart with that thing? Just to keep these people from leaving? And you thought Faustus was mad. Orders are orders. Come on, Rumlo. This is way past wrong and you know it. What the hell has gotten into you? <laughs> exactly. If that device detonates... We lose the bridge. We lose everyone here. We end this. Now. I was hoping you'd say that. What was it you said? You regret not finishing me off before? Put up or shut up? I think I'm gonna carve that one on your tombstone. You want a showdown, Rumlo? You got one. I would be more worried about that bomb. Hack the interface console, and you might be able to delay the blast. At least the big boy is down for the count. Did that actually work? You can never really tell with these things. Ah, screw it. The core! It's overloading! Stop rambling and hang on, Rumlo. He must have known this would happen. Always was one yeah. step ahead of everyone. Except for you. Why don't we talk about this when- I'll say hi for you. <clears throat> when I see him. Don't! Hail Hydra! in my lifetime. Time for Agatha's ritual. The moon can't get any more right. Are you ready? Are you? I'm prepared as I can be. And I'll have some additional help. Who? Agatha asked me to recruit a few of the others. How many people will be joining us? All the Midnight Suns, Doctor Strange, and Logan overheard me talking with Nico and decided to come along. He believed you? He said, I've seen weirder stuff in my day. But he used another word for stuff. It is hard to believe everyone just agreed to this. Agatha had me tell them what only she could have known. Except Strange, he came without question. 
He had a twinkle in his eye, as though he already knew. We should go. I'll lead the way. Everyone's here. We're almost ready to begin. What else do we need? The braziers indicate the ritual boundary. Once you light them, we can begin. I will be right back. Fires are lit. Any last words before we begin? Once we start, there's no going back. Let us begin. What do you need me to do? Stand back and make sure nothing disturbs us. The Grey Seneschal is a finicky ritual. Agatha Harkness, can you hear me? I can. The Grey Seneschal extends a hand. Shall you take it, knowing it may lead to your destruction? I shall. Do you willingly sever your bond to this world, knowing it may lead to your dissolution? I do. And will you open yourself to the Grey Seneschal, knowing it may lead to your possession? I will. Spoken, witnessed, and sealed. I can, I will, now, begin. Steady, Wanda. I call upon the Grey Seneschal. Seize the spirit of Agatha Harkness and deliver her into this... It's her. Oh, I can see her. I can see... Agatha? Sarah, wait. She did not want you to find out like this. How are you here? I couldn't find a keepsake. A simple spell said it was here. The locket. Wanda stole it. I nearly caught her outside my room, didn't I? It does not matter. You cannot disturb the ritual. What ritual? Why would you need... The Grey Seneschal. I won't let you do this to her. Sarah, wait. Destroy her again. Sarah, no. <laughs> what have you done to her? Nothing worse than what you've done, Sarah. Agatha? You were the worst thing to happen to, to me. Oh, how I loathed our time together. It took death to finally free me of your insipident Agatha. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Hello, sweetly. Mephisto. Release Agatha. We have no quarrel with you. I have quarrel with him. You want me to simply give you this withered ecto puppet? Come now. Someone must know how this works. It's always the same with you. The devil is here, and he's ready to bargain. Ah. The hairy little creature remembers how it works. No bargains. Release Agatha. Right now. No, no, no. I'm willing to make a simple trade. Give me Ileana. And you can have this faded rag in the spirit. Fine. Don't lie to the devil. It's embarrassing for both of us. I thought you were the true power here. But if you have no hold over the Queen of Limbo, you're as useless to me as this wizened phantasm. Wait, I will speak with Ileana. Good, good. But don't take too long. 
If you delay, I'll melt this shriveled spirit. There is little to say. Ileana, I am just stalling for... Shush. There is little to say because I know how to push him out. What is the plan? If I banish him directly, he takes her with him. But if I channel my power through someone close to Agatha... Wham! Sucker punch! He loses control, I banish him, and Agatha stays behind. Then why have you not done it already? Channeling my power through a person causes lasting injury. I do not know who should bear this suffering. Ileana, it has to be Wanda. We both know she has absorbed far worse than this. No, she has suffered enough. Wanda would pay any price to restore Agatha. This is the price. Fine. Give me the signal when you're ready. Enough deliberations. Do we have... Magic, what do we say to the devil? We say... The devil can go to hell! Agatha? Sarah, you can hear me? And see you. What, no kiss? And that's how I know it's you. What you've done here, to bring everyone together, it's... It's not enough. I've never been more delighted to tell you how wrong you are. This is so much better than we'd expected. We just need to finish it. We? Does that mean you'll stay and help? You thought I did all this to say goodbye? Oh, Sarah, you're hopeless. Not anymore. Look at that. Hunter, would you mind walking with me? They deserve some privacy. Indeed. It was smart how you handled Mephisto. Mm, painful, but smart. I did not know who else to choose. I'm glad it was me. It should have been me. Are you all right? I'll need much rest, but that's beside the point. Agatha's back. It worked. Wanda. This was all you. No, this wouldn't have happened without you. We pushed each other and look at what we achieved. So what now? We should let them catch up. Agreed. See you tomorrow. I'm going to bed and don't plan to set an alarm. <laughs>